Hey everyone, real quick before the video starts, stick around for the end of this video and I will share with you how you can sign up and take this class that I taught at the Organic Grower School. I hope you enjoy. My name is Jason from Sow the Land and today I'm in Asheville, North Carolina. Actually, I'm at Mars Hill University and I'm at the Organic Grower School which is just outside of Asheville, North Carolina. And today I'm speaking. Actually, I go on in about five hours, but today I'm gonna show you my day and show you guys around uh, this really awesome event that happens uh, every springtime, and let's check it out. This is the first time here coming to the Organic Grower School, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, should be a good time uh, taking classes and learning. Speaker badge. <laughs> well, we're here at the Organic Grower School Spring Conference. Lots of great programming going on. Um, lots of different classes you can take. Got information here about all of our programs that we offer. Lots of great opportunities to learn more about OGS and get involved. Each of these brochures here talk about all of the different programs that we do. So we've got the Spring Conference, which we're in now, and then we've got the Harvest Conference, which is in September every year. Each of these programs happen throughout the course of the year. So lots of lots of ongoing programming. There's really something being offered at all times. And you have a website? We do, yeah. It is uh, organicgrowerschool.org. All right, I'm here with Chris from So True Seed, and you guys know Chris. We, we did videos. We, yeah, we did yeah, videos well, before, right? We're old buddies. We've done yeah. a few videos. <laughs> so you're speaking here today. Yeah, what, yeah. What are you uh, speaking about? So I've got I've got this class called uh, Seed to Stem, which is kind of celebrating the whole the whole plant. And look what I just got in the mail. It's my book that Jason and I have talked about before, and it's a Seed to Stem celebration of just okra. So this class is a Seed to Stem celebration of like every all the plants that you can eat lots and lots and lots of different parts of so it's a pretty it's a pretty fun hopefully inspiring class that lets you just explore your garden and utilize the crops that you're growing more more successfully and then I hope that uh, maybe we could uh, talk about the book more in another video yeah we are gonna definitely <laughs> talk about the book more you're gonna do a recipe from it right yes I'm gonna give you we'll, a copy we'll you're gonna talk do, about a, it. do an experiment yeah 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 awesome. I think it'd be awesome all right <laughs> So my name is Everest and I'm the East Coast agronomist for Only Moso USA. So we're the premier agriculture company, agricultural contract farming company in the United States pioneering bamboo agriculture. And it's actually a superfood product. Uh, the, the sprouts that come up in the spring are highly nutritious and so that's also a cash crop that uh, we believe can help create many jobs while also being beneficial for the environment. My name is Doug Elliott and I'm a naturalist and a storyteller and an herbalist and so a lot of my stories are recorded on these tapes and CDs and books and I teach about that kind of thing. And I'll be doing some programs here at the you're speaking? Yeah. Speaking here today, today, today and tomorrow. And they put me in the earth skills section because they said telling stories, that's an earth skill. You know, around the old campfire. So, a lost art. Not a lost art. We, we all tell, you know, if I asked you what you did today, you'd give, you'd give me a narrative. Right? So, right. Some of us crafted a little more, spent a little more time with it. And you wrote? These books? Yeah, most all of them. My son wrote the mushroom book. Yes. How long have you been doing this? Like most of my books, life. Really? 
you know, 30, 40, 50 years. When did you come out with your first book? 1976, 42, or three years ago. The meal or alfalfa meal. And it will uh, spike the bacterial activity. Hey, I'm Amy Landers, and I have a website called gardensthatmatter.com, and I'm here at Organic Grower School and had the chance to meet Jason and hear his class, and it was awesome. Love learning from Jason. <laughs> and I had the chance to teach, too. So I taught about pollinators and how we can be an important part of pollinator conservation by sharing our landscape with them. And then we get a lot of benefits from it, too. Better pollination, interesting things happening in our yard, and flowers, of course, too. And I'm on Instagram and Facebook, and I'm doing a project this year where I'm planting something every day for the whole year. Um, so you can follow along with that. Um, I'm either Gardens That Matter or Gardens That. I'm Bill Melanson, part of Fun Frolic Farms, and my wife, Christina, she's the farmer, and I'm the mule, basically. And so we raise goats, and uh, Christina has learned um, to make salves and lotions and soaps from using goat milk as part of the, the uh, formula. These, are all, these all came from your goats? Uh, yeah, goats, and then she, she'll also get, she uses all this um, hypoallergenic material that she'll bring it all together, but the goat milk is from our goats. That's added to the lotions and the potions. Do you guys have a website or where people we, find We it? do, uh, Fun Frolic, www.funfrolicfarm.com. Oh, I appreciate Thank it. Your brother. Yeah. Let's have two pecans. Yeah. Uh, specifically, bit. So, well, that's so our, you that's, volunteer that's, okay, so and you get is, to share the food. This is, yeah. So this is well, basically, uh, yes. Like it'll it. be actually a set uh, hours that you put in at the farm in exchange for your CSA box. I like. It. On the on the back side, okay. this is a work party we're having to kick this all off, and we're giving a tour of the greenhouse. We built this greenhouse is basically okay. with my inheritance. And um, nice. so like a nice green we're house. growing tropical fruit and we grow veggies all, all winter. So and uh, you how? look familiar. <laughs> Jason, no, I don't know. You just look familiar. I've probably seen you around or something. I'm Jimmy, by the way. Um, so we're trying to so kick this off. So how often with a would we be working there? You know, it depends. Uh, well, uh, I'm That's planning this. With, I've hired someone to help me run this because I don't have the time and energy to do all of this. And she's got a. She wants to do as a very strict CSA. I'm a little more flexible because I think people need the flexibility. Probably so, do. I'm thinking so. You know, if people have two Saturdays a month, or they have one morning a week. I mean, that's the kind of thing I'm looking at. The CSA. I love Fetco seeds. I get all, that's my Catch first. Catch this on camera. <laughs> my first, that is my first order. Always goes to Fetco. I love Fetco seeds. Great. Yeah. Thank you for your support. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, can you tell me about Bucci? What, like, what it is? Yeah. So Bucci is the largest kombucha brewer in the southeast. And we were the first one to introduce medicinals into our uh, kombucha. And we are located in Marshall, North Carolina, just right down the street. And we have 63 employees. And the Bucci Mamas started it 10 years ago. A lucky Sheep makes all natural materials, uh, outdoor gear. This is like a, a wool sleeping bag, organic wool batting for the insulation, a merino wool liner, and organic cotton outside shell. Nonprofit organization based in Black Mountain that provides five weekly free healthy food distributions. At each of these five distributions, we do health and wellness lessons and nutrition education to help low income families understand how food can become medication to help them with their health and their vitality. Food comes from farmers and growers, it comes from community gardens, it comes from retail outlets, it comes from the Mana Food Bank, the Feeding America affiliate here in, in Asheville. So it comes from a wide variety of areas. But as we see the, the rapid increase in the numbers of people who come into the markets, we're finding we're looking for new sources because we're, we're struggling to find enough food to be able to meet the need and the demand out there. They can go to bountyandsoul.org. Okay. Whether it's whether it's uh, a She's getting a lesson on how to drive a tractor. I mean, that's awesome that they have this opportunity to learn how to drive a tractor. 
um, your tractor starts to smoke and starts to overheat and bad stuff starts. Hi there, my name is Heather Fleming. I'm the garden coordinator and educator at Asheville Farmstead School and we are running the children's program for the OGS conference this year. We have been just letting them do some free play. We've spent some time outside building fairy gardens and exploring in the green space here and right now we are planting um, vegetable and flower seeds for both our farmstead garden that we grow at our school and also for the kids to take home. Hi, my name is Ryan. Currently I'm here at the Organic Grower School Spring Conference here to talk about regenerative revolution, not just focusing on land management and how that's regenerative, but also thinking of social equity and social capital in our networks that we have in our communities, thinking about things like marketing and how that plays a role in engaging with different people of different kinds of natures, um, and even thinking about the business aspect of regenerative agriculture and why it's important to focus on that. And then kind of rounding it back to mental health and how we can stay regenerative in our minds and be open and adaptable to the situations that we have. People can find me on Instagram at pork.ryne, R-H-Y-N-E. Amy from So Edible Farm and Podcast. Um, I'm here today at the Sustainability Conference. We are a sustainable off-grid farm and we share our story on our podcast. You can listen to it on iTunes or Stitcher. And um, we basically help people figure out different ways to be more sustainable. Um, we help people with land design as well as energy efficiency with their home. We offer consulting and we do passive solar house design. You can um, also check out our brand new garden planner that we created to help people be able to plan out their garden and make it simple and easy to keep your all your statistics so that you can be more successful in your garden. Yes, you can find us on Instagram or on Facebook as well as on, on iTunes. So, thank you. Okay. I'm Stephanie. I'm here with the Asheville Tool Library. We have a 2,000 square foot uh, tool library space in downtown Asheville where we loan tools to our members. So we are a nonprofit, so your membership fee is a donation to the nonprofit, and then the tools are available for loan, just like a library um, after that. Hey, my name is Gabriel Noor. This is Pangea Plants, and I am double tasking on a phone meeting right now at OGS. <laughs> but here at Organic Grower School Spring Conference, we are a biodynamic medicinal herb farm, and so we grow the plants, and then we also dry and, and process and package these plants. It's the only biodynamic medicinal herb farm on the southeast, we're the largest farm. We also offer an herb farmer training course, which I've, I've been going to conferences for over 20 years and I found it's really inspiring and, and then I want to get the hands-on part of it too. And so I've designed the course to be a, a mix of conference experts and, uh, and the hands-on at the farm. We can, uh, you can go to the website, pangeaplants.com. So Green River started this year. Uh, we grew our first outdoor harvest. Uh, harvested in September and we're a small farm right outside of Candler and we practice organic growing practices. Uh, we'll soon to be certified organic probably in the next month or so. Um, this is the full size bottle over here and um, each bottle is 1500 milligrams so it's very potent. And you have a website? Or? We do, yeah. Uh, GreenRiverBotanicals.com So this is a class on making paper out of denim. That's pretty awesome, I think. This is a vat of denim pulp mixed with scraps of plant-based handmade paper. So it's old blue jeans. Yeah, Yeah. Oh. so oh. we make the pulp, which is this whole other thing that happened another time. Right. Um, you pull the sheet and cooch it onto the post and then take the post and put it into the press. 
and then pull the sheets off well done. of the stack to dry. I've got your two sheets. Yeah, after they're dry, yeah. they're good. Oh, after that's they're dry, too. they're good. Oh, they can be mine. anything yeah. then. They <laughs> right. can become anything. As I'm, you know, talking to people, talking to some of the vendors and some of the people that are just here attending, uh, it's pretty amazing just to be a part of this event. I think I say that at every single event that we're at, but uh, it is, it, it, it's, it's such a positive thing. Um, we're all in this space, in this community, and uh, just to be here with them and sharing ideas together is something that, it was a beautiful thing. Hi, my name is Liana McCune. Um, I am here at the Organic Grower School to try to open my mind more with mushrooms. Um, I've been an avid gardener for about 15 years. I started doing organic about three years ago, so I just want to fine tune everything. Um, I do have a little homestead in Marshall. Uh, it's called Purple Lotus Garden, so if you follow me on Instagram, that would be great. And watch what we're doing. We're about to get chicks on Monday, so that'll be fun and cute to watch. I think we're going to get about six of them. I also am really into teaching everyone how to grow. You can have a backyard garden. You can have a small raised bed. Just getting your hands in the soil and understanding how life works and how close you can be to it, to a seed, to a fruit. And I just want everyone to do it and understand how free it can be and how freeing it can be. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, I'm Matthew Mendelson. Um, I came this weekend to explore a lot of interest that I had. This was a really unique opportunity that uh, I wasn't aware of until almost last minute. I'm really glad that I came up and even volunteering, I got to meet and talk with a lot of the speakers but more on a one-on-one -on -one basis outside of the classroom setting, so I'd strongly encourage you to do that. I'm assuming every year it's gonna grow and get bigger with support from, uh, from more people. Uh, we are several things. We're the Nutty Buddy Collective. We grow orchards on on other people's land under long-term leases. We have some 99-year leases to grow native nut crops. We got our orchards planted, and we were like, uh, we could we could wait around for 15, 20 years for the nuts to come in, or we could go to something else. And so we started foraging nuts, getting other people to forage nuts, bring them to us. And we're making oils. We're making acorn oil and black walnut oil. Should I hold them up for the camera? <laughs> and uh, hickory oil. These are all locally foraged, locally uh, produced uh, native nut oils, and also we're making flour from the acorns and crackers out of the acorn flour. And people bring us nuts, we pay them in cash, or we pay them in uh, basically like a like a share of the finished product, a you know, little gift certificate, store credit. You have a website? We do, yeah. Uh, uh, acornucopiaproject.com and uh, nuttybuddycollective.com uh, I'm Rodney Webb and I'm here to uh, mostly follow the mushroom track. Uh, I've actually taught at uh, Organic Grower School in the past. I'm coming this time as a student and a lot, it's nice because there's no pressure. I can just like attend classes and drift around and I'm learning a lot as well. So. Good to be back. <laughs> I appreciate that. My name's Jason. That was the Organic Grower School Spring Conference. Uh, they have this every year here in Asheville, North Carolina. That was my first time, first experience teaching a class. I'm super grateful and thankful to everybody at the Organic Grower School for putting this on and allowing me 
to talk. When they asked me to talk here and teach a class on digital homesteading, how to share the things that you're doing, I initially wanted to say no because I wasn't comfortable doing that. But I said yes. This entire move that we did, moving from the city in LA to the mountains of North Carolina has been way out of our comfort zone. And ever since moving here, I thought, you know what? Let's keep that uncomfortableness going. Let's keep being uncomfortable because that has opened up doors for us. We have met incredible people by doing that. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching. It was an incredible weekend here at the Organic Grower School. If you ever, in the springtime, uh, if you're in the area, definitely come to this event. I highly recommend it. Well, I appreciate you guys watching. <laughs> My name is Jason from Sow the Land, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey everyone, thanks for sticking around. I'm offering my class, Digital Skills for the Homesteader, in video format. This private video will be available April 1st. If you want more information on this video, I will provide a link down below, and you can sign up through your email. I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you guys next time.